Hi guys, once again, this is Alfred from BinaryOptionsTutor.com I'm here today and uh, I'm going to try and do a little scalp trade uh, Late Well, actually it's early. It's really, really early in the morning And, uh, so uh, Just decided to shoot this video at the last minute couldn't decide which side I wanted to take. Couldn't decide which way I wanted to go. But we're going to try and go long on uh, the S&P. This is essentially a uh, track like the S&P 500. And I'm going to look for a little pop down here. And we're a little late for the morning. Really want to get me a good position. song okay I got field no I'm sorry I didn't get field this is working orders this is actually uh, that's the open order so we, we gotta see if we're going to get field here okay we got field now I'm gonna try and move along very quickly here I got my three already in there and uh we're gonna see if we can get out of here somewhere with profit we got big huge push down um these white lines here these represent uh the tops and the bottoms of some bullinger bands i just got them set to the standard settings um blues on top so our bias is to the upside okay so we're thinking uh we, we got in pretty close to the bully bands uh pretty close to the bottom and it also coincided with the the blue with our 50 moving average and now we're going to see if we can wait for some profits um we've got an hour and 17 minutes this is not a counter trend trade because longer term the the trend is up we look at our chart what are we doing we're trending up what i'm trying what i tried to do is try and get as close as i could to the bottom of the bully bands and um catch it like that um i don't see my crosswalk because i was really rushing to get things going so sometimes i have to refresh bam there uh you can see i got in around where we were uh you know we were almost down here in that resistance area why didn't we hit that resistance area because uh the trend is up so you may not perfectly hit the resistance area because the trend is up if the trend really is up you're gonna have a hard time hitting lows if the trend is really down uh you're gonna have a harder time hitting highs and it's kind of like a preconceived uh, notion that you can kind of put in your head because it, it's not proof. You don't know if the trend is really up until you've seen uh, that you've gotten in and you've gotten out with profit and the trend was really up. But that's kind of like a good precursor. Uh, it's they call it in the supplement industry. It's kind of like a good precursor. Now we see uh, uh, iteration here which is uh gray it's a gray area then we see this iteration which we almost hit that support area and now we see an iteration forming that's a little higher up than before in our price action we're seeing the same thing uh what are we seeing historically here we're seeing a lot of yellow pushes 
to the upside all of this is making us uh, making up my bias for the trend being up okay so we're gonna see what can we scout here early at the open on the S&P 500 um, how much time do we have we've got an hour and 15 minutes our goal here right here is profits okay we're our goal is to see if in the next one hour and 15 minutes can we find our way to profits can we find our way to the indicative being at a better price than what it was than when we entered that's why we we saw uh blue on top here and we it was you know it wasn't perfect it wasn't like really touching our bully bands or anything but um it was you know it was getting there and so we're just uh trying to get ahead of the market as far as our thought process and saying that really we're going to eventually find our way to profits going up now we start to see us dashing into some profits we got three contracts on the table here so when we can get on the right side and we can start to see profits um hopefully we can get some decent jumps and there's 15 wrestling with us there's 17 Uh, and and is our price is moving up you can see over on the left hand side that also the 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 market is moving up it's moving in our favor okay that's not going to always perfectly correlate because the price is essentially set by the market makers Starting to get another push. What do I look for? I look for, there you go. Uh, not perfect timing, but I look for those jumps. Uh, you'll notice, like, we jump from like 15 to 33. And when I see those large jumps like that, that's uh, telling me there's that big, um, you see it, it wicked here. I didn't quite catch all of that 33, I'm at about 29, but that, uh, you know tells me that there's that big jump and when you start to see those big jumps let's say you were on uh the other side you got in here and you were selling let's just talk let's just talk about pure emotion okay you got in here the market's opening you got in here you're you're a little slow to the trigger and you were selling okay you got in somewhere around here and all of a sudden the market starts to move against you a little bit this is a five minute candle and then all of a sudden the next five minute the subsequent five minute candle is going up and then it shoots up like this okay when it shoots up like this this because it's such a rapid move up it's for those who are going to let emotions really get involved in your trading it, and it happens to us all i'm not excluding myself from this but when it happens if if you can't you know keep control of your emotions you're going to say my lord i just it, there was a fraction of a second and i saw this market jump up to here and that's where the market maker the counterparty just uh runs you out and and i'm aware that this is where that emotion is coming in and so and, and I saw that happen in the price because we jumped from 15 to 31 and so I sold right there I think I actually exited at around 29 something like that okay and that's a few minutes you guys I, I basically had put on the trade slightly beforehand um, maybe like I was probably in the trade like 20 or 30 seconds beforehand and that was the duration of the scout from start to finish saw me get here get here i couldn't quite get you know in a perfect world but the world is not perfect and the world is not fair okay in a perfect world 
I would have touched this blue area. I would have touched this bully band. But the world is not perfect and the world is not fair. You know, so I went ahead and took my trade because blue is on top. And uh, the longer term trend is up, up. That's all we're seeing here. Okay, these levels, these aren't, uh, these, uh, these levels here, they're not, uh, I'm sorry, they're, they're not berries, uh, support and resistance, like you see a lot of my charts. There are the, the futures markets, opens, it's already cooking. Why the hell would we jump back at the start of the day then or just prior to the open because the market maker doesn't all this boom 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 this is beating up the market maker he's got to get things in control because market makers believe it's hip to be square they want a square area here with some defined support and resistance they don't want an area that's just going up like it's making a triangle or something or, or whatever it's crazy to them they don't want to deal with that okay and I'm really kind of trying to break this stuff down. You know, as the young people say now, mask off, okay? So I'm speaking a lot about the market maker and my interpretation of what he's doing. I've never been a market maker. He might be a he, he might be a she, but to be honest with you, it's an algorithm for the most part. And they have to push the market down. Because if you're aware that people are clearly going to come in and buy at the open, what do you want to do? You want to sell it to them as cheap as possible. It's not rocket science, people, okay? We get down here. Here's the open. I couldn't get this, but I went ahead and got that. In uh, a few minutes, I wrote this up. When I saw that rapid move here, think of like you, you got a car in... You, you're going 30 miles an hour and all of a sudden in a second you see it go boom oh damn I'm, the cops going to pull me over or something I'm going what 150 miles an hour okay that's going to elicit emotion it's going to elicit emotion in the market and that's the place where I need to sell because um, most of the guys who got in going short that's the place where they're going to sell and that's why I saw that jump from 15 to like 31. Uh, somebody got ahead of me and I only exited probably about 29. But that's cool. That's also a reality. Sometimes I'm trying to exit. There might be a video somewhere in this scalping series where I try to exit and I got rejected. Okay, that happens sometimes too. And I've got to be quick to get back in position, you know, and get ready for my exit again. That's why I'm taking... Uh, trades where I have an hour or like a, 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 a maybe even in most cases more than an hour to be to be right about inside of that next hour plus I'm going to find a place where I can exit profitably that's all this is about I hope that this is giving you guys some ideas this is not perfect pricing relative to what's going on on Nadex. I'm just using these guys because they have some cash for difference numbers and they are under MT4 so I can load in my indicators which are all um, made under MT4 and uh, I'm using them for my data. Uh, it's not perfect uh, but it's, it's a good, it's, it's doable for me because conceptually all I'm doing is in this particular trade I was trading with the trend I'm using the bully bands but instead of trying to pick perfect tops uh, in a market that's going up I, it's what's going to be easier and I'm talking about just planning a trade is it going to be easier for me to pick perfect tops in a market that's going up or is it going to be easier for me to find my way at least close to a bottom in a market that's going up because there's not a lot of people that are interested in selling the market off and uh that's what that trade was all about i hope this is helpful to somebody that's watching this once again this is alfred from binaryoptionstutor.com like share 
comment subscribe i'll see you guys on the next video if we've helped you please help us by sharing this content with others